Sous le thème « Réduisant les écarts et renforçant l'agriculture biologique africaine », l'Institut national de la recherche agronomique, NC International Society of Organic Fairman Research, organise de 11 au 12 novembre à Marrakech une conférence sur l'agriculture biologique conjointement avec la Fédération interprofessionnel marocain de la filière biologique et l'université Qadi Iyad ainsi l'université Mohamed VI Polytechnique. Cette rencontre principalement organisée afin de trouver des solutions pour combler l'écart actuel entre l'Afrique et l'Europe. Par ailleurs, ce rendez-vous est une occasion pour mise en relation aux opportunités de collaboration entre les experts et les chercheurs, les producteurs et les décideurs de domaines de l'agriculture en général et de l'agriculture biologique en particulier. L'agriculture biologique offre une alternative euh, intéressante, importante pour les, les agricultures marocains, en particulier pour améliorer la durabilité de l'agriculture et aussi pour euh, améliorer le bénéfice et la productivité du fermier. Euh, pour le moment, elle constitue une proportion très faible, relativement faible de l'agriculture conventionnelle. Mais étant donné les, les défis donc, du, de la santé du sol, cette conférence elle va nous donner des indications, les nouvelles découvertes et le récent progrès dans ce domaine, euh, à mon avis, qui va encourager certains fermiers donc, à utiliser l'agriculture biologique et qui va aussi les aider à améliorer leur profitabilité. Afronet est un network d'organiques acteurs dans le continent avec des membres from different countries in Africa, including Morocco, Fimabio. We are part of the Continental Ecological Organic Agriculture Initiative, which is a blueprint for more sustainable, resilient uh, agricultural systems. And uh, fortunately, the African head of states in uh, 2010, they had passed a decision to support uh, organic agriculture. And um, actors with the African Union um, Commission Uh, we worked on a strategic plan and we named it uh, Ecological Organic Agriculture Initiative for Africa, which has six pillars uh, to develop and advance organic agriculture in the continent. Um, the first pillar is all about research and technology development based on organic farming. And um, I'm here attending this scientific conference um, where we discuss uh, papers and the research results on organic agriculture and this is the conference between EU and the North Africa uh, region so as Afronet and the EUA uh, we are very much expectful of the results that are going to be drawn out of this uh, scientific conference. And we are proud that we are part of this conference here where we stimulated with INRA So when we have intended to make this conference in Morocco we thought that organic is a big option for this country in Morocco to make money with the export of quality food, not quantity food. And organic has a strong label and a strong market in Europe. But now we change the regulations for organic. And the conference topic is what is the influence of this change of the regulations for Africa? And is it the right way what is actually done? So the title of my contribution here was a keynote and the keynote was when we have the new regulation in 2021 export products from Morocco or Africa to European Union what does it mean and what is the scientific assessment of this so what is behind it and the main conclusion I can give for this topic is first Africa needs to improve the production That is not only the question of yields, that is for the own continent important, because this continent has hunger, this continent has a big potential to produce high quality products, and they can export it to Europe. But the standards will increase, and with the increased standard, this will be difficult for Africa to meet them. So my main message would be, African and when I see Morocco here is well established you must become better to have better income from premium products in agriculture. <laughs>